Yo. So a week or so ago, I posted a speed art video where I drew a guitar amp using an isometric grid. And the numero uno bit of feedback I got was to uh, slow down and show exactly how I managed the curve parts on the protectors and created some neat isometric circles. So today I'm going to slow it down and show you all exactly what I was doing. Hopefully you can learn something, or if you have something to teach me, you're nice enough to shove that in my face in the comments. So let's get to it. I've already created my isometric grid. There are dozens of tutorials that exist on how to do this, so I've saved you the pain of watching me recreate it. But it's essentially just a series of equally spaced vertical lines, copied twice and rotated at both 60 and negative 60 degrees. Also, for this tutorial, make sure you check that smart guides are on and your snap settings are reasonably precise. Mine is set to a sensitivity of about 4 if memory serves. Now I tried everything to make some isometric circles when creating the amplifier, including reducing the size by 83 point something percent on its horizontal axis and shearing it by 30, um, which is one of the most common examples I found when trying to figure out how to do this with Google. Um, and I tried using live corners, which essentially just creates garden variety circles. Now here's the trick. First off, you're going to want to draw a square that would perfectly encase the circle you want to end up with. If you want a circle that fits in one or two grid space, draw a square over that grid space. Double the size by drawing a square around four spaces. Uh, you can use this to make ovals using uh, two or more up and one across, whatever. This is the hard part, and it's not that hard, so congratulations on coming this far. The final step is to go to your effects menu, down to stylize, and hit rounded corners. What you want to do is just make sure preview's on and just bump this number as high as you want to go until it creates a perfectly rounded circle. Uh, lower settings will achieve rounded corners, exactly what it says on the box. Um, for my guitar amp, I used around 40 pixels. Uh, this grid's a bit bigger, um, but really just pump it as high as it will go and you'll end up with a circle. Um, I can't explain why this effect rounds the corners in constraint to the shape and live corners just creates normal circles, but what works works and I won't argue with that. Um, you can do this on any plane with squares, rectangles, lines. Uh, from there you can flip it, uh, transform it, whatever it, it should work, don't quote me on that. Uh, and essentially, that's it. That's that's all there is to it. It's it's an effect that works rather well. Um, yeah, so there'll be a link to the guitar amp speed amp, uh, speed art at the end of this video, and as they say around these parts, like, favorite, and subscribe for more. Peace.